Hi, Wally Brown here with GAF. Today we're going to go over how to hook up the canisters for our GAF LRF Adhesive XF. It's pretty simple. We have color-coded boxes. Uh, the canisters actually, when you're on the roof, on the job site, are going to stay in the box. Before you do this, you actually want to take them out and agitate them. Either shake them up, invert them several times, or kind of gently maybe roll them back and forth and then put them back in the box. I've already got these agitated to save a little time because I really don't think you want me watching shaking these canisters up. So I've already got them agitated, now all I gotta do is hook these hoses up. So again, the hoses are color coded. I got a hose with the red stripe, hose with the blue stripe. All right, so I'm gonna connect these. Obviously the blue stripe hose goes to the part A, red stripe goes to the part B. Remember, these have to stay inside the box. So to make your life a little easier to connect these, I just kind of cut a hole in the box and I can feed the hose through there. We got a little wrench out of our little toolkit here. Now you don't want to strip these, you want them tight, but you don't want to over tighten them. What I want to do now is I want to pull this manifold off. Okay, once we're going to do that, you're going to open these, these valves all the way and we want to purge it, I mean, into something we're going to be throwing away because we want to make sure we got a good stream coming out of both those. So right now I'm going to turn these on to start the purge. See the private coming through the hose? It's not quite all the way to the gun yet. This is why we have to purge it to make sure we got a good even flow in both ones. Okay, once we have it purged, we're gonna reinstall the manifold. Make sure it clicks in there. Okay, what we're gonna set this up for is we're gonna do some beads of insulation. And then after I'm done with that, we'll show you how to do the membrane. Gonna put our tip on, put our extension on. Now, something to remember. When you're spraying, if you're doing membrane or you're doing insulation, you can only stop for about a minute. If you stop longer than that, you're gonna be constantly changing these tips out. So once you start spraying, make sure you have everything laid out, everything cut and ready to go. So coverage rate on this is roughly 30 squares for the insulation and 25 squares for the membrane. Now the insulation is gonna vary depending on your bead pattern. Obviously, if you're doing 12 inches on center, you're gonna get more coverage versus four inches on center. And we're looking for about an inch to an inch and a half bead. So if we're gonna do a bead pattern. That's what we don't wanna see. That's way too heavy. So that's a little bit too heavy here. We're looking for more along the lines of right in here. So in the real world, once this sets up, we would take your insulation and stack it on top of each other. Okay, earlier we showed you how to do the ribbon pattern, so now we're going to talk uh, kind of a 10,000 foot view how we're going to actually do the splatter pattern. So these extensions, when we're doing the membrane, we really don't need, so you know we don't make, keep track of these, so we always got extra. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take one of our short tips, screw it on here, and then take, find the small, what they call the shower cap, and snap it on the end of this. So basically this is going to be like kind of water in your garden. All we're doing is installing on the on the substrate only. We don't need to put it on the fleece. Now, in the real world, I guess again, if you could visualize these 10 by 100s, is typically how guys lay them out. They're going to butterfly them. I'd have one butterfly there, and I've one have one butterfly over there. But we're just doing this for a short demo purposes, and they don't let me out anymore. This is all I get to play with. So, okay, it's pretty simple. Got the got the canisters on. Got my short tip and a shower cap. Okay, that's about the coverage we want. We don't want to see this. Okay, that's way too heavy. We want it to look about something like that. Once this sets up, we're going to roll this membrane in, saying we would do the other side if we were on a, on a real job. And we're going to take a weighted roller and or a broom and roll it and broom it in. Now, when you're done at the end of the day, take this off, dispose of it, and they actually send you a little bit of Vaseline Kind of let this harden up a little bit. Take a probe or something and scrape as much as you can. Take a little of this uh, Vaseline and put on there. It'll help save this tip, store it overnight or for the next job. At the end of the day, end of the job, whatever the case may be, if you have some material left in, you want to shut these off. Leave material in the hose, okay? The shelf life, if you're if this has been open, is roughly 30 days. And what if the, if the bottles are empty, how to dispose of these? There's some knockouts right here. You'd actually make sure there's make sure there's no material left in the uh, in the container. Make sure it's completely empty. Take the hoses off, turn them upside down in a trash can. Open them up. Make sure all the air and everything escapes. Knock out the knockouts. You can take it to the scrapyard or throw it in the can a dumpster, and that's that's all you need to do.
Okay, for more of our installation videos, feel free to visit GAF.com.